So this is the GraphTech uh, C6000 and this is the 60 model. Um, but this particular line is plagued with a common problem. Um, now, I have been reliably informed that um, the solution is to do as follows, to save yourself lots and lots of money. So, this cover, you need to undo these three screws, and then it comes off. As easy as that. Um, I suppose a good disclaimer would be to make sure it's turned off before you start poking your fingers around here. Although I'm pretty sure that this side of it is all low voltage. I'm pretty sure the other side is the high voltage. But nonetheless, you know, I don't want to be sued. So the fault itself is with the processor chip um, getting too hot. Um, and that's all it is. So what we're going to do is we're going to get ourselves some heat sinks that look just like this with some special thermal double sided sticky tape and um, we're going to have to cut some of these down, I mean this one eh, maybe we won't have to cut them down <laughs> um, but from what I've seen we, they do all, all the big ones, not just the main one. You can't see. They, they tend to do all of these, not just the big one. So I'm going to cut these down to fit. Um, I'll leave a link or an email address in the description. If you don't want to cut your own, you can pay me to cut them for you. And then as a final step, we're going to massacre this plastic cover. Um, roughly in line with that big processor and we're going to install a fan. I've gone for a super silent fan because well I don't know why because this isn't a very super silent machine but I guess you know not adding noise is a good idea so uh, yes we're gonna do that so you don't need to see me cutting down heat sinks that's pretty self-explanatory and um, what I will show you is because no one else has done it is where to wire this fan into. Um, if you don't want to, if you want to just guess, um, there is a fan underneath. You can't see anything underneath. There is the fan which makes all the noise. That's the fan we're going to be wiring off of. Um, so when that fan is on, that fan is on. Makes sense. Uh, which I'm pretty sure it's just that connector there. But we'll double check all that. All right, BRB. Welcome back, it started raining, it's not switched on. So, uh, firstly, look how dusty it is. Ew. I should probably clean that. The fan that we're going to connect into, you can't see, is this wire here. Which is this connector here. So, um we're going to splice into that to power our fan. Now where you splice into it is entirely down to you. Um, where am I going to do it, you ask? I am probably going to do it there, just because that makes the most sense to me. Um, so I'm going to reinstall this cover once I have finished cleaning. Um, and yeah, I'll get back to you then. Another little top tip, we're all learning together today. <laughs> um, this pin here is roughly, is roughly in line with the center of the processor. It's in line enough for a fan. It's not rocket science, it's only got to blow some air on it. And um, I'll take a word for it, the middle from the pin to the middle of the processor is about 40 millimeters. So, 40 millimeters from the middle of that, up there, that's the middle, that's where you're going to want the fan to be. Obviously, that's the edge of the case, so you can't put it right in the middle, but that's the area you, you want to aim for. 40 millimeters, keep up. So, um, I've also, I didn't mention, opted for a... It doesn't say on there, does it? I have opted for a 
60 millimeter fan. Um, so there's a couple of ways of doing it. I mean, obviously you could do a square hole and glue it in. I'm going to go for. I'm going to attempt to go for a round hole and screw it in. Now, if you're wondering what you can use to draw around to get a 60 millimeter hole, um, a tub of uh, Gorilla wood glue. Um, that's what you want. So that's going to go there and draw around that, and you got a hole. And so there you go. Um, I used a hatchet to cut my hole out, but feel free to use a hole saw. Um, something to note uh, when you do this, which I should have really thought about prior, in this location the fan is going to hit the um, transistors. So mounting it on the outside might actually be a better idea, but this does look nicer. Um, the only difference is, is that you get a bit of a bit of a gap, but cleaner. I'm going to 3D print a little shroud for mine so I can't put my finger or any other. Um, anyway, so yeah, I'm going to do a little a little test, make sure it doesn't do it again. But that should be the solution. And now you know where to wire your fan. Right. Right, right in there.